Earlier this week, Baby Audio released a new plugin called Tape. And then what happened? YouTube went nuts and a bunch of videos were uploaded talking about this plugin. So there's kind of a buzz going on here. So I decided to join the club and talk to you about this new plugin from Baby Audio, Tape. Hey, what's going on? Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. Let's now look at this new plugin called Tape by Baby Audio. Let's jump right on the website and check what we have here. So Tape is very special. It's an AI plugin. It's a tape emulation plugin run by AI technology. Uh, which is quite interesting. So instead of using a DSP-based um, technology to create the plugin, Baby Audio used a artificial intelligent algorithm to uh, to base itself on for the creation of this plugin, which is pretty interesting, actually. So uh, let's go on the website, and uh, um, as we can tell here, it's called the AI Powered Tape Plugin. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video, so I'm not getting paid by Baby Audio to tell you about this plugin. But at the same time, I have to mention that um, the plugin is on sale right now for the launch at $39 US instead of $60, uh, $69. So you can check the link in the description down below. It's an affiliate link and you can get an additional 10% off. So it's gonna be cheaper than 39 bucks, so check it out. Uh, so what we have here is uh, warm up your sound with this plugin. So for the highlights, like I mentioned, it's an AI powered algorithm, uh, giving you the true warmth and behavior of analog tape, a flexible feature set, allowing you to create a custom tape flavor for any need. And what else? Use a tape to add musical saturation and glue to drums, instruments, vocals, and beyond. All right, let's check it out in Cubase. And this is what we have, tape. So I pronounce it tape, but it's spelled T-A-I for artificial intelligence and P. So T-A-I-P, tape, pretty cool look. It looks like a cassette, like a tape cassette um, that I grew up on, imagine. I'm that old. So on the top left, we can change the background of uh, the plugin to get a white tone, a gray tone, or a black edgy tone <laughs> that I kind of like. Very nice looking plugins. I'm going to get back to the original gray tone. And then I have a bunch of presets that we have right here on the top center that we can choose from to experiment a bit, you know, or as a starting point. And on the top right, we have that reset option here uh, that when we click on, it's going to reset itself to its original state. So first drive is actually the input level, which will give you more warmth and saturation. So let's try this out right away. And you can hear it right away. You know, I'm getting way more saturation um, from the plugin. At the same time, we have the drive auto gain on, okay? And that controls the output level, okay? So the more input I add when this one is active, when the drive auto gain is on, um, it's just gonna balance itself as far as the output goes, uh, which is quite cool. Now, something cool, if you double click, it's gonna get back to zero dB, okay? And same for the output, you double click, it's gonna come back to zero. And then we have the mix option here, which is basically for parallel processing uh, to blend the dry signal with the saturated signal or the tape machine signal. Uh, then we have the noise, so let's check this out. So this is basically tape machine noise that can be useful in some cases. But for the most part, I leave it off. Where will combine a wow effect with an alternate frequency response to emulate a worn out tape machine. So let's try this one out. That's pretty cool. And listen to this, if I bring down the mix knob, I'm getting that flanging effect. That can actually be a very cool effect. So let's continue. We have glue, which is gonna add com like tape compression. A 
path is pretty cool. And it actually keeps, you know, a lot of dynamics also, which sound very nice. Uh, then we have a presence to add a bit more high frequencies that usually gets attenuated uh, when using a tape machine. Now, the more warmth you get out of the tape machine, uh, that can affect the high frequencies by taming them down. And that's why we have a presence, which is going to bring back those high frequencies when you add a lot of warmth out of this, uh, of this tape emulation plugin. Then we have the uh, the high shape and low shape. Okay, this will actually um, determine how much saturation you're getting on high frequencies and low frequencies individually, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, so I can decide to focus more on low frequency saturation like this. Or leave the low frequencies, you know, with less saturation and focus more on higher frequencies for saturation. Or keep it as clean as possible. Okay, so this is what high shape and low shape is all about. Very useful. Uh, then we have input, you know, the input level, which is normal by default. Let me bring that down. And then hot, which is gonna bring way more uh, input signal into tape. And now we're getting more saturation. Back to the normal. Now we have two models. We have single, which is only one tape machine, and we have dual, which will chain together under the hood the two tape machines and use half the drive of each. So let's try this out. I'm gonna get back to normal input. Pretty nice. So this is basically what we have as far as parameters goes with tape. Okay, now we're gonna try this one on a drum loop. Let me solo this one. Okay, check this out. Let's go nuts, okay? We're gonna like overdo it big time, okay? I'm gonna bring the drive way loud. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna do the same with the output. Listen to what that is gonna do. There's actually a brick wall limiter on the output. So there's no way you're gonna peak the plugin, like the output of the plugin which is quite interesting. Okay, let's tweak the sound here to get something um, that is gonna sound warm, colorful, and with a bit more character. I'm gonna bring the low shape to the right so I can keep those low frequencies so they're not gonna be affected by the saturation. If I bypass the plugin. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep it this way. Let's add the bass. So I just resetted the parameters to the original state. There's still a difference when you just activate the plugin uh, with uh, all those um, regular settings. Okay, now let's play around with these parameters. Again, 
again, I'm gonna keep those low frequencies untouched okay, by the saturation. Okay, let's bring the mix knob down. And now since I'm adding, like I have like some wear going on, I'm getting a bit of flanging effect. Which is quite cool. I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, the singer now. Welcome the vocal. And this time around, reset that to the original state. And um, I'm going to try something a bit more subtle for the lead vocal. And then um, I also have a group channel, which is the left and right version of the vocal, the lead vocal recording. So uh, we did record uh, the lead vocal two extra times and pan those extra takes left and right. And those are routed into a, um, a group channel track where I also have an instance of tape. And on these, uh, I did something quite special, but before we jump on uh, these vocals, I'm gonna work on the lead vocal only. Poussé par la pensée d'une nuit Entouré de l'infini Ma main dans la sienne ainsi Rien que maintenant je vis Une poussière de vie Éclatante de sourire M'amenant dans le monde Just a bit more warm, does the job. Love the color that it adds to the vocal. Not too much. We can hear a bit more saturation when there's a bit more energy on the vocal. Uh, so that's why I'm using the uh, the mix knob here just to parallel um, process this channel, okay? Um, so I'm gonna leave it this way for now and I'm gonna add those, uh, uh, those extra doubled vocals, okay? Poussé par la pensée d'une nuit all right, so those are the vocals. Let's add tape. There you go. All right, so a lot of saturation going on. I kind of added a bit more drive on top of bringing the input hotter, <laughs> which adds more input saturation. Add a bit of wear also, like a bit, like a lot, a lot of compression also. Parallel process this one, and that's it. This is what I get. And if I blend it with the lead vocal. Par la pensée nuit, Very cool. Entouré de Okay, I'm going to bypass tap, all the tap instants on all channels. Love the warmth and color that it gives me, but again, it's a matter of balance. Now I'm doing that quickly just to show you what the tape sounds like and you know how far you can even go with this type of plugin. So very impressive so far. Okay, let's try tape on a rock mix. I'm gonna start by the drum mix bus and we'll go from there. Right away. Huge difference, even with the initial parameters of the plugin. 
Okay, now let's play around a bit. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna keep it this way. Let's add the bass. There's already some saturation going on on the mixing side for the bass, but I'm still gonna add some more <laughs> with tape. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, that is edgy. All right, so now what about the electric guitars? Interesting. I kind of like what Hot does on the guitar sound. Compared to normal. That's pretty cool. Okay, for the mix bus, what I'm gonna do here is to look for a preset to start with. Let's go with two bus love, and we'll see if the preset is gonna give us some love. It sounds good, but it's a bit too much aggressive. So what I'm gonna do is to bring down the drive so I, I get less of saturation and I still keep uh, the sound of tape, the warmth and color of, uh, of the tape emulation. Let me just turn off the, the, the drive automation gain also. And let's check what we have now. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's add a bit of compression. So I think that sounds a bit better, a bit more transparent. Uh, so for the mix bus in this situation, I think it's pretty good. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is to, again, compare before and after by removing all the tape plugins at once and compare to what we started with and what we ended up with. Man, that is a huge difference. So this is basically what tape is. Honestly, I love this plugin. I think it's a good emulation of a tape machine. And the way uh, you work with the plugin is also very user-friendly, easy to work with, 
you know, very intuitive and not too complicated to get around. So I think Baby Audio made an amazing job with the GUI of the plugin and the way the plugin works and react to the signal. So, you know, top notch baby audio you did it again so check it out the link is down below and during the launch time of the plugin uh, baby audio offers this plugin at 39 dollars us at this time of the video okay so check it out the link is down below and you can also get an extra 10 percent off if you use my affiliate link down below so leave me your comments your impressions also your questions if you have some down below and also don't forget to share to like and to subscribe to the channel and until next time take care and see you